Good day, everyone. Welcome back. So I was asked in the comment section a couple of days ago to talk about the networking for UTM. So uh, basically, there's a few networking options that you're probably going to use. Uh, so I just wanted to show you how to how to do each one, and hopefully this will help you out. So unlike uh, VirtualBox or VMware, if you want to change the networking, you have to shut the machine down. Okay, so that's the first thing. Uh, so if you have any issues with your machine, just make sure that the machine is shut down before you edit the options. Um, so I just created two basic uh, Ubuntu server machines. And basically when you want to edit the network, you're going to right click on the name and go into edit and come down to the network tab. And you have some options here. So you have shared network, host only, and bridge. Okay. So let's go through each one, and I'll show you the differences and try try my best to explain uh, each one. So shared network is the same as NAT. Okay. So if you have a NAT network, uh, it's basically um, the virtual machine. It does not have a IP address on the external network on your LAN. Right. Okay. So it's a instead it's a separate private network that is set up on the host system. Okay. And you can only have one NAT network. So I'm going to show you what that means here right now. I made a couple notes here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you could see them. Let me see if I can make the font a little bigger. Okay. So I already went through this uh, just for some testing a little bit earlier. So let's just I'm going to start these up here. Okay. And I'm just going to show you basically um, each each one, okay. And then after I'll try my best to explain the differences, okay. So I have basically two Ubuntu uh, servers here, and so there's Ubuntu one and Ubuntu two, okay. So right now they're both set at uh, shared network, which is NAT, okay. So I'm just going to log in really quick to each machine. Okay, and if I do an IP address check, you're going to see that the IP address here is uh, the same as my notes. So it's uh, 192.168.64.4. Okay, and if I check this one here, so if I log in, it's going to be the same. Okay, and this one's got an IP address of 192.168.64.5. Okay, just like my notes here. So if I come over to this machine here and I type in ping, and I'm just going to ping it three times, and I type in the IP address, so 192.168.64.5, oops, dot five. Okay, I'm going to get a response. Okay, because they're on their own network, but at the same time, it also has a connection to the outside world. Okay, so. If I ping Google here, you're going to see that actually it doesn't have a, a response to, uh, to Google. So let me just see if, one second. So if I do, uh, update here, type in my password. Okay. You're going to see that it does have a connection to the outside world uh, through NAT. So you can update the machine, you can install packages. Um, so for example, if we go to our other machine here and I install NetDiscover, for example, and type in my password, okay, you're going to see that Oops, I'm going to move it up here a little bit so we could see. So it's going to ask me if I want to install this package, so I'm going to say yes. Okay. So you can see that it has uh, network access, so it can go to the internet, right? It can go to your WAN network, and it can grab packages, install packages, but it can't interact with any other machines on your host network. Okay, so basically if we run... Uh, net discover one second let me just clear this up here let me also clear this one for 
for now just to keep it nice and clean so if we run a uh, that discover on our 192.168.64.1/24 we should get only our other machine okay so you can see here that we've got the two machines here um, we've got this machine and the other machine okay all right so what I'm gonna do now is shut this down oops and I'm gonna shut this machine down okay so that's that's the shared network okay so that's not so it has it has uh, internet access to WAN, okay? I forgot to write that in my notes here. So now we're gonna change each one to host only. Okay, so if we go back into our settings here, so if I go to edit and I go to network and I go to host only and hit save and I start this one up and then I do the same thing with this one. I go into the settings here to network and I do host only and I do save and I start this one up Okay, so let me just move this one over a bit and this one over a bit. Okay, so I'll log into this one. So if I do, if I log in here, uh, one second. Let me log in. I should have probably put a, a shorter password. Okay, so I'm just going to show you here. Let me move this one down just a little bit. Okay, so let me log in. And... Okay, so now you can see that if I try to do an update, just for example, right? Okay, and just type my password in again. You can see that it, it tries to go out to the internet, but you can see that it says 0% working, and it says there's an error. Okay, and you can see that it says here that there's a temporary failure resolving ports.ubuntu.com and you can see that it failed. Okay, so that means it does not have access to the outside internet, nor does it have access to any other devices on your host network. Okay, but it does have access to the virtual machines within your private host only network. Okay, so they can communicate with each other. So if I try to connect to the other machine, so for example, if I do a, if I just check the IP addresses here, okay, so this one has an IP address of 10.37.129.3, just like my notes, and then this one here has an IP address of 10.37.129.2. So if I, if I try to go from this machine to the other machine, while it's on the host-only network, it'll work, okay? So if I do SSH, and I type in the other IP address of the other machine, so if I do uh, 10.37.129.3, okay? It's gonna ask me if I wanna accept the key, and then if I log in, so I'm just gonna put my password here, okay? And you can see now that I'm connected from the Ubuntu machine 1 via SSH to the Ubuntu machine via 2. And if I do an IP address check here, you can see that I'm on um, the 10.37.129.3. Okay? So that's host-only network. All right? So let's now switch to bridged. I'm going to shut this machine down. And the same with this one. Okay? And now finally we're going to do bridged, okay? So it's the same thing, uh, right click, edit, and we're going to go to network, bridged, and it says advanced. So automatically it should select the interface. And you can see here that uh, for me it's connected on my main network. And just make sure that the uh, vertio-net.pci is selected. If you select anything else in this list, it may or may not work. Okay, so for me, this is just the default, and these are the MAC addresses, and that doesn't really matter because you can randomize them, but just leave everything at the default. So if I hit save, 
Now I start this machine. I'm just gonna move it over here a little bit and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one here. Okay, so edit, network, and I'm gonna switch to bridged, okay? And everything is the same, the defaults, I'm gonna hit save. And I'm gonna start this machine up. Okay, I'm gonna put this one over here. So now if I do the same thing, if I log in, okay, and I put my password. All right, and I check the IP address, oops. Now I've got an IP address of 10.10.2.91, okay? And that's the same as my host network, okay? I could do the same thing over here, so I'm gonna log in on this machine, okay? And, all right, so you can see this machine here has an IP address of 10.10.2.92, and you can see if I go to my, my uh, host machine here, okay? Um, okay, that's not installed, so for now, let's just do it the hard way. Let's just show you here in the network. So if I go, you can see that my IP address is 10.10.2.44. Uh, okay, so it's on the same, same subnet, okay? I don't know why that didn't work. I'll have to install something later. Anyway, so we can see here now if we do a ping... Um, for you can see that it's going to go out to the internet and reach Google just fine. Okay, so if we do a, an update um, and type in our password, okay, it's going to go to the internet and update. And then if so, if I want to connect to this Ubuntu machine from my my uh, host machine, I could do that. So. If I go over here and type in the to get the IP address, so if I come back over here now and I do SSH and I do at this machine's IP, so I think it's 10.10.2.91, uh, okay, it's going to ask me if I want to accept the fingerprint, so I just say yes, and then if I type in my password here, you can see that I'm connected to Ubuntu One. Okay, and so for now I'm just gonna exit from there. So you can see that we have full access to our network. And just to show you that I can see all the machines on my host network, we can do uh, Suedo uh, net discover tag R, and I'm gonna do 10.10.2-1 uh, slash 24 and you can see that all the devices in my network are going to populate okay so you can see here that i've got my uh, ubiquity uh, firewall device here at, at number one i've got my wi-fi router here the tp link technologies at 39 and then i've got my mac is on 44 and then this one is on 92 okay so you can see that um, based on my notes here, everything is correct. So for the shared network, which is also considered NAT, it might be called NAT in VirtualBox or VMware. So in UTM, it's called shared network, okay? And you do have access to the internet, all right? But you don't have access to the other devices on your host machine. And then on your host only, you, you don't have any connection to the internet, but you do have connection between your host and your other virtual machines on the same host only network okay and then on bridge you have full access to the WAN and it's the same as plugging your device uh, into your wireless internet or plugging it into your switch with a LAN cable it has full access to all the devices on your local network it has full access to the outside world on your WAN okay so hopefully that explains everything uh, the best that I can so Basically, to summarize, um, bridge networking connects a virtual machine to a network by using the network adapter on the host system. Okay, so it creates a, f a virtual uh, adapter on the host and it's connected to the same network as the host, right? So with NAT, which in UTM's case is considered the shared network, um, 
the virtual machine does not have its own IP address on the external network, okay? And instead, it's a separate private network that is set up on your host system, okay? And you can have only one NAT network. And then we have host only. So the host only network creates a network that is completely contained within the host computer. So it cannot connect to the outside world and it, it cannot connect to any other device on your machine. So which one is right for you? So if you're running a safe virtual machine, right, uh, that you will interact with outside of your host network, right, you can use Bridge. So for example, if I want to connect to this Ubuntu machine from my Mac and, you know, I want to do things with it even remotely, you would use Bridged, okay? So if you're running a machine that needs internet connectivity but not a connection to the other devices on your your local area network, you can use NAT. So for example, if you're just working with a machine that you're using within your own host operating system, you don't have to use Bridge. And then if you're running an unsafe VM, so say for example, a mal malware analysis VM, you would use host only networking. So that way the, the malware machine, the ana analysis machine cannot connect to the outside world and it also cannot connect to other devices on your host network. Okay, and I wrote a little blog post about it, which I'll put the blog post in the uh, description for the video. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this one, and it helped you. If you need any help further with this, you can join my Discord and ask me questions there. Thanks. See you in the next one.